Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. We're down here at the water today and we're going to be showing you a great boat by Marine Connection. It is a 2003 Larson 220 Cabrio and it's powered by a Volvo Penta 5.7 GL motor. Now our service department has done a quick overview of the motor and whatnot. Everything has checked out fine. We're going to do a quick presentation of the top side and cabin on the boat. Then we'll take you out for a quick spin and show you how she performs. Starting at the back of the boat, we have a nice swim platform, two cleats on either side. And then over on the starboard side of the boat, we do have a recessed boarding ladder with a grab rail, so easy access on and off the boat. For those of you who like to uh, anchor up at the sandbars and whatnot, easy access on and off the boat. Over to the uh, left-hand side, we do have a transom shower, fresh water system on the boat. That's operational at this time. And then directly at the center of the transom, we do have a ski hook. So uh, the boat is also good, plenty of horsepower in the 5.7, the boat's good for some uh, water sports. If you want to pull a tube and whatnot, you definitely can. Now at the center of the transom, we have a walkthrough into our uh, uh, cockpit area. And as I come down below, down into the cockpit, there's a nice wraparound seating. Now, these cushions on the, the seat cushions are all removable, and that would give you access down into your engine compartment. Below this seat cushion over here, which is easy access underneath the cushion, there's a uh, battery switch. This boat is equipped with dual batteries and switch. And then you do have a couple legs for these seat cushions at the back, with their, and they have their latches, so they're nice and secure, very comfortable. Notice that we have the backrest all the way throughout. And then we have our center table here, which is removable. It's in a base. Take it out if you don't want it in the way, put it down in the cabin, give you a little more room back here. At the center of the deck, there's a storage compartment. Uh, if you want to put some skis and whatnot down in there, you could. And uh, well, it's also very simple. If it's a little dirty down there, easy to rinse off. There's no carpet or anything like that. That all feeds into the bilge. Either side of the uh, uh, of the boat, we do have a couple of uh, cubby holes with some cup holders. And then coming up towards the front, notice the two very comfortable captain's chairs that we have with uh, bolsters, flip up bolsters. Nice thick cushions, very good condition. If you see in the pictures and in the video, the upholstery is in very good condition. Minor little stains on a couple of the uh, Coleman bolsters and uh, one little nick over on this side, but over, overall I would say they're pretty much in, very, in, in good condition, especially for the year of the boat. Off to the left hand side and directly in front of the passenger side, little storage box, little storage compartment, and then above that we do have a fresh water sink and we do have an alcohol stove located up here as well. At the center, we have this the entry door to the cabin, but we do have a few steps up here to give you easy access through this walk-through windshield. So if you want to throw the anchor, easy access up to the front. You also have your bow cleats, and the boat's also equipped with two midship cleats. At the helm, we have a tilt wheel, compass directly located at the center of the, of the wheel here, our display of gauges, and uh, pretty much you have our voltmeter, temperature, oil, fuel, trim and tilt, etc. Now to either side of the wheel, we have our rocker switches, which we have our blower, which is operational, bilge pump, running lights, and then the accessory switches for your freshwater system. Bimini top's in great shape. You'll see that in the video. We have the boot on it right now. The stainless steel is in good condition, and uh, the, the, uh, pull, the canvas on the Bimini top's in great shape as well. Let's take you down into the cabin and show you that, and then uh, we'll take the boat out for a quick spin. Down below in the cabin, you'll see that we have a large forward V berth. The cushions come all the way back. And this center cushion here is removable. You have a couple of bars down below to give you a little more support. And if you notice there in the middle, we do have the base for your table that's outside. So if you wanted to do some picnicking down below, you could. Off to the right of the cushion, of the centerpiece, you'll see that I have the uh, cockpit covers for the boat. They're in here right now. Underneath either cushion, both on the right and left, we do have additional storage. And then over to the port side or my right right now, we have some additional storage down here. And then the fresh water tank and pump are conveniently located here. So easy access to them if you ever have to do any maintenance. We have a couple lights down here, 12 volt accessory. And then we have our stereo, it's a CD stereo on the boat and that's operational at this time. And then as you come down into the cabin, if you look to the right, we have additional cushion here, but that comes out and we have the porta potty down below. So the layout of the, of the Cabrio 220, nice layout, very spacious for a 22 foot boat. The upholstery down below is in uh, pretty good condition for the year. 
Uh, I don't see any major stains or anything like that. And then the headliner's in good condition. You have a center hatch, give you a little more ventilation down below. You can open that if you're anchored up and uh, overnighting on the boat. So uh, pretty much that concludes it for the cabin and the top side of the boat. Let's uh, start this puppy up and take her out for a spin. Good to go. Folks, that concludes the uh, video on the uh, 2003 Larson 220 Cabrio. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see in the video, the boat runs great. Temperature was good. All the indicators were great. Uh, depth sounders working properly. Uh, real quick, top side of the boat. Boat's in very good condition uh, for the year. Might have a little scratch here and there, but I'd say overall it's in very, very good condition for the year. The upholstery's in great shape. Bamini top's in great shape. Down in the cabin, everything's clean and in good shape as well. So. This will uh, definitely make a happy boater. God bless. Have a great day.